If you're having any issues with the previous recapture tutorial that I posted, this may help you. They made some changes to the recapture token where it expires after two minutes. And the previous tutorial I showed where it loads the token as soon as the page loads. So they made some changes as you can see here. They also added a different way to automatically bind the challenge to a button, which would be a little bit different incorporating VB with it. But I'll show you how I did that. So here is some example code that I made just for the testing purposes. If you remember my previous video, I had to censor the site keys and censor the secret key. There was no reason to censor the site key, but the secret key, I added it to my web config. So it's referring to the app settings to get my secret key this time. I did the same with the site key as well, which I can show you here. So I stored my site key and my secret key in the app settings of the web config. Some things that I noticed that I had to do a little bit different was I have to create a, an ASPX button still and I made display equals none so it's not visible on the site. So when this button click is clicked, it calls this JavaScript function that would in turn re receive the token and do a click of this button within the JavaScript. It will call this button click here, which will then proceed to process this code. This code was updated as well from the previous version. Down here, it looks very similar to testing how it returns. I'll run the code now so you can see what it looks like. You can see that recapture is running. When I submit, it comes back true. Now, just for you to see how it will react when it's wrong, I'll add some characters to the end of the token that's returned, which of course will make it fail. And we can see how that works. And there you go. I will have this code in the description. Thank you for watching.